And I found out Tuesday that I won the AP Teacher of the Year for the Midwest region. Well, everybody's been giving me lots of hugs and congratulations, and I'll probably go out to dinner with my family. And there's a ceremony Monday in Chicago that will attend and get the award. And from what I understand, this year's focus was on uh, open access for the AP classes. So because we've grown the program here so much, and because my kids are doing uh, pretty well, and they selected me. <laughs> Jean's a veteran teacher and uh, was always uh, just a fantastic person that would take on any challenge and she took on AP Biology. Today we're going to be, we're going to do an opener, then I'm going to give you. So it's really been exciting. It's been hard. I study. Mr. Vukovic makes fun of me all the time because I always have my glasses on my head and I'm always here late and early and I'm studying and reading and and she was, you know, cracking that book after hours and staying late and studying. It just shows her dedication and she still does it. Um, she's she's kind of, as you can see by the award, she's kind of the master of the, the AP bio now. She would hate that I said that, but. I really love biology, so it hasn't been, I didn't like it, it's just been hard. It's been a lot of work. And it's been a big change for the kids because it's just a big step between general biology and the AP biology coursework. When they said open access for all, I take that literally. And our kids have had lots of doors closed to them for their whole life. Why would I close the AP Biology door? If they're willing to try it, then I'm willing to take that on and help them. Um, I have a little girl this year who was an ELL two years ago. She was an English language learner. And this year she's challenging herself to take AP she's going to be so much farther along than she would have been without. Mm -hmm. Did you get a chance to study that last night, mm -hmm. the genetics? Yeah. How do you think it went? If she knows the kids need it, she's the first one to volunteer to do it. So it's all about the kids for her. And, I, and obviously everybody has just phenomenal things to say about Jean. There's not, you won't hear a bad word spoken about her anywhere. Um, it's, it's phenomenal. Well, you have to be dedicated. You have to be willing to work hard. Uh, you have to be willing to try new things and take risk and fail. You have to believe in your kids and and just keep keep at it. And that saying about they have to know that you care before they care what you know is really true. It's really true here. You're not just ever a teacher. You know, you're a shoulder to cry on or a ride home or uh, you know somebody to vent to or there's so many aspects to being an effective teacher. I have to be their cheerleader, I have to be their mentor, I have to push, I have to I make lots of phone calls home, we have a lot of let's try this again, let's back up. Don't forget we have draft today, okay? And did you find out if you could stay after school? You can't? If I give you a ride home, can you stay? Okay. You know, the kids flock to her. She does everything for each individual student. So she's just amazing. But I love kids and I really, I believe in education so much that it changes their lives and that they have to have advocates and they have to have people that believe in them and that love them enough to push them because you just have to, you have to keep pushing and pushing the kids and let them see their potential because they don't, they don't all believe in themselves. So it takes a, kind of a constant reminder. 99% of what how a kid achieves is how they believe and perceive themselves as being able to complete that course. So kids wouldn't sign up for AP course because they've already deemed themselves as not able. What we have to do is convince them that they can. And then when they get in there, we don't lower the rigor level, but we increase the supports. Yeah, it's amazing what they can do. But you have to give them a chance. It's about students and giving everyone, it has to be equitable, they have to have the opportunity.